everyone welcome to 6 7th and 8th channel of byjos i am your teacher ankita and i welcome you in today's class i hope that all of you are in a good health and are really excited for today's session so please do write in the comment section and tell me how excited are you hello hello good evening everyone good evening dilip good evening uh, gungun harsimran rajeshwari laksh Purnima, Kashyap, Shraddha, Epic Girl, Rashmi, then we have Duganand. Good evening everyone, good evening, hi Dilip, okay. Amritansh, Sonu, Purnima, B, Teju, good evening, how are you all? Hi Piyush, hi Manjeet, hello. So uh, are you excited for today's session? Right, we will be talking something about which you will be learning in your higher classes which is like a very interesting concept, right? It's not our regular academic classes today. What we have today is really very interesting and super special. Now this gives us a chance to peek into the future, right? And today is the Science 101. So how many of you are excited for this new information that we will be learning today? Come on everyone. Yes. I am good. Thank you for asking. Trishti, I hope that you are also good. Hi Harshit. Very excited, right? Very excited. Okay everyone. So let's look into this amazing thing, right? Before that, we have something more amazing. Of course, this session is amazing. And I am sure you will love the sessions with your amazing teachers, right? And you can be the next quiz master. So please make sure to follow us, right, to subscribe to the channel and then of course you can submit your entry. So please make a moment, please take a moment and do subscribe to the channel. If you are new here, hit the subscribe button. Yes, right, so please make sure you are joining our channel. Very good, very good. Yes. Adivadash, uh, I'm sorry, I think Gajanpati, I think. Okay. Very good. Nice. And of course, thank you everyone. We are a family of 40k now. 10 more and then we'll reach 50k. We need your support for this. We need your support. So please subscribe to the channel. And let's quickly talk about the amazing English classes that we are having. Right. If you want to become more confident speaker in the public, please make sure to check these classes out. It, these are classes are for two months, right? And the link of these classes is in the description below. Click on that. Know more about it, right? And be a confident speaker. Yes, yes, yes. Very good. Okay, everyone. Let's start. Let's start our class. And here we have. Okay. I'm sure when I was a kid, I'm not sure about you. But when I was a kid, this is this was my condition, right? I, you know, I used to ask that, you know, how the plants grow from seedling into this, right, to a big plant. And of course, the elders will tell us, you know, plants usually grow from seed. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We actually moved the session from 7 to 7.30 because I was in another session on 9th and 10th channel. So, yeah, that session got a little bit extended, that's why. And at 8 p.m., you will be meeting Ashwarya, ma'am, right? Very good. Okay. So, let's look over here. I want you to see this beautiful thing, right? How the seeds are germinating. See, it's a time lapse of the germination of the seeds. We have a seeds, of course, in the soil, right? And, of course, they're just coming. Yes, germination. Yes, half an hour. If you're talking about the time of the session, half an hour. Okay. So we know that the seed actually germinate. And we call that whole process as the germination. Right. So we have the seed, right. The seeds is there. Now giving them the correct condition, the moist soil, right. A apt temperature and a good nutrient. What will happen? We will see that they will have started developing the roots then the stem will come right slowly slowly we will see the growth happening then we will see a new plant interesting thing right 
So this is how the germination in plants happens. And of course, they make their own food, right? By the simple process of photosynthesis. Till the time they are down, right? They are not, like they don't have the leaves. They get the important nutrient from the soil itself. And from the water, basically, they just have. Once they are out, they will be using sunlight, carbon dioxide and water to make their own food. We know this, right? Yes, this was easy, right? So we are starting with easy. Now, let's start with this. Do you know some any other way? Do you have any idea for some other way that actually help us to grow plants? Yes, I remember you, yes. Very good, everyone. Come on, come on. I hope that all of you are super excited. Come on. Have you have any idea how we can grow the plants? Yeah, very good, Shruti. Sorry, uh, sorry, Shruti. Okay, tissue culture, cutting, okay. What else we have? Tissue culture is one thing we have. Yes, very good, very good. Very good, Krishnendu. Some plants actually have the other vegetative parts, right? So we will be discussing about the vegetative propagation. But what is vegetative propagation? As Krishnendu have already mentioned, vegetative propagation is nothing but when the different parts of plant like stem, roots, leaves can actually give rise to a new plant, we call it as a vegetative propagation, right? The vegetative parts of a plant are actually helping in the production of new plants. We call it as vegetative propagation. Everyone, are we clear with this definition? It's a very, very important concept. See, if you are the future scientist, right? If you are the future scientist who is sitting in a class and who will be working in the future on plants, very, very important session for you. Yes? Very good. So we are clear with what is vegetative propagation. Roots, stems and leaves have a capacity to give rise to a new plant. But not all the plants, right, can actually give rise to a new plant by, by the vegetative parts. We have something that we always call it as a modification. Now let's understand about the modification in plants. Now what is modification? Quickly everyone, I know we have this slide over there, but can you tell me what is a modification mean in general English? I want to modify this, right? Oh, you know what? I want a modify fan that can actually uh, have a light also. And actually some interesting thing, right? Extra thing. So basically a functional fan is to give us air, right? Just to give us cool breeze. But what we can do, we can add light also into a fan and it can have dual pur purpose, right? Similarly, we have some small changes in plants that actually help them to produce in a different way. So we have the modification, okay? So what happens in the modification is that there will be small, small changes in the different parts of a plant and from there we'll have new plant, right? So we'll see modification in onions, right? And from that bird, we will be able to see the growth of the stem and then we have a new onion plant. Achha, how many of you have seen uh, potatoes, right? I'm sure aloo. Alu and piyaz. I'm sure you must have seen if you kept it in a moist place at your home, both of these will have buds and of course in onions you will be able to see this growth. How many of you have seen? I have seen. I have seen a lot. Especially living in Bangalore where we have a moist weather, right? Where there's always a little bit colder environment. So you will be able to see that. Yes, I have a potato. Absolutely correct. And you know what? I, I'm sure you must have done a project also in. Okay, take it, put in a soil and you will see a new plant. Yes? Very good, Rakesh. I'm sure many of you would have done the practicals also. We all are science students, so we can pat on our back. Yay! Science 101, we all are scientists here. Yes? Absolutely correct. So, we are clear with the modification, right? Now, we will be looking into the detail of it. Everyone, are you ready? Yes? Let's quickly talk about this. We're talking about the modification, right? So we have few examples. You will be learning more about these in your higher classes. But for the starters, what we have, we have the modification of stem. We have the example of potato. Remember one example of each, everyone. Stem modification, potato, alu. That gives, that have the birds. And this bird will give us a plant. Okay? And you know what? These potatoes are actually we get from the underground, right? Plant is up there, but we get the fruits, basically this vegetable from underground. 
Yes, very good. Yes, we have those, uh, Krishnendu is asking ma'am like, uh, hybrid seeds, right? Yes, we can modify them genetically. We can. We will be learning about that. Okay. Next example over here is for the modification of roots. And the example is sweet potato. And of course, we have a flower example there, here, right? But, I can see your chat. Don't worry. Sorry for the interruption. I can see your chat, everyone. I might miss taking out your name, but I can see your chat. Don't worry. So, we have the example of roots, right? And we have the sweet potato. Sweet potato in Hindi is called as Shakarkandi. Please correct me if I am correct. Right? We call it as Shakarkandi, right? Shakarkandi. It's, it's very sweet. And of course, it's very, very good substitute of the potato. Yes. Very good, Disha. Yes, everyone. Shakarkandi, yes. Good. Modification, Siali. So modification is a change that happens, right? A little bit modification that actually helps in plants specifically to allow the other vegetative parts to give rise to a new plant. Yes. Ah, your yeah, carrot also. Right? And then of course, last but not the least, we have the leaf. And leaf, we have the very important one plant that will be used everywhere from here, from this standard to all the standard is bryophyllum. Yes, so bryophyllum have leaves. They have a very thick leaves, right? And on the leaves, you'll be able to see the small plantlets like these. Small, small plants will be there. And once they become, they have the roots, right? They just fall and they'll become a new plant. So, leaves over here becomes the vegetative propagator. Basically, they allow the new plant to grow. Clear? So, everyone, repeat after me. Root ka example, sweet potato. Stem example, potato. And leaf example, bryophyllum and bengonia also. Very good. Clear? Clear, 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 everyone. Thumbs up. Okay, now everyone, let's wear our white coat. Though I'm wearing a white, sorry, I'm wearing a black. But imagine all of us are wearing a white coat. And now, we are entering into a lab. A very sophisticated lab. See over here what we have. Right, let's talk about the tissue culture. Now, a tissue culture is nothing but a growth of our cells. Tissue pata hai. I'm sure all of you know. That's why I'm not going into that detail. We know that a group of cells will come together and they'll form the tissue, right? So, the group of cells will come together and form the tissues and we'll talking about the tissue culture. So, we will be taking the tissue and of course, we will be doing some experiments with it. We will be getting new plants from it. Yes? Very good. Very good, everyone. Yes. Very good. There are a group of cells. And of course, the term tissue culture was coined by the American pathologist, right? We have the Thoms Brown, right over here. Monsieur Thomas Boros, right? Interesting name. So, of course, it's, it's not important for us to remember. But as we are learning it now, so if you can, please make sure to note this down. Yes. Very good. Yes, by Jews lab we all are in. So, let's understand everyone, okay? We are starting with that what we'll be doing. Now, we are clear that we are working on tissues. And tissues are nothing but the group of cells. But can you tell me, or I'm sure you're thinking that, why we are only working with a group of cells? Why only a bunch? Why not a single cell? Yes? No issues. You can watch it again. We have just started. Yes. Very good. Very good. Right, I'm sure you're thinking about it. So here we have the answer to it. Right? We have something called as the totipotency. Which is nothing but the ability of a cell to actually divide and produce n number of cells. It keeps on dividing. Yes. And it keeps on dividing and growing and growing and growing. So we will be having the plant tissue. And of course, we will be taking these, these tissues. And they will convert or basically they will become into a new plant. They don't have a very specific thing. Oh, you know what? I will become leaf only. They don't have that drama. So these plant tissues that we will be taking up, right, they'll say, okay, fine. I will grow into a whole new plant. Hi, hello. Yes, hi, hello, Aryan. Please don't spam. Come on, everyone. Don't spam. Happy birthday, Gaurav. Yes. Everyone focus here. Focus here. Clear? Are we clear with new more? One more new term, which is totipotency. Clear? Okay. 
See, I'll be asking a question at the end. So, all of you, please pay attention. Yes. Very good. Okay, let's see what are the steps that we have, right? So, the first step that we will be having in the tissue culture, of course, we will be collecting the tissues. We will be cutting the plant, right? We have a plant, we'll cut them into small, small pieces and we will put them in a petri dish. Now, we will be making sure that we are cleaning it properly with the help of the sterilizing medium, right? And apart from that, yes, we will be washing them thoroughly to remove any of the microorganism that it has. We call these small, chotu, chotu, chotu pieces as the explant, right? So, explant is a part of a plant that can actually produce a whole plant, okay? Can you see over here? These chotu pieces are called as explant. Re clear everyone? Thank you Krishnendu. Very good. Very good. Very good everyone. I know. I know Teju. Got it Aryan. Chotu motu. Yes. Okay. Are bhai gungun ke naam pe puri we are doing the sandhi vichhed. This plus this plus this. Wow. Everyone, yes. So we are clear with what and how we will be getting the, pl the plant tissues, right? Very good. Shruti will be adding the nutrient medium and the important hormones. Awesome. So what is the next step, of course? We have the clean parts, shudu shudu parts of the plants in a petri dish. Now we will be taking that in. And we will say, okay, now you need something. Okay, tell me. For us to grow what we need, Right, what do you eat to grow? Of course, don't tell me, ma'am, we just drink milk. We eat a lot of other things also, right? Yeah. We, oh, we eat so much, right? We eat the nutrient, yeah, we need a balanced diet. Similarly, plants also need a diet. Now, of course, they, they cannot perform photosynthesis without the leaf, stem and the root. So, we have to provide them the nutrient, right? So, what we do, we actually make a mixture in the lab, right? We made, we will make a nutrient medium. Now, nutrient medium will have the carbohydrates, different enzymes, etc. And we say basically, we are just making it in the lab. We'll all have, if you go to the, I'm sure if you go to some lab, right, I'm sure you must see those bottles. How many of you have seen those white color bottles with a black, black label? It's okay, it's okay. No worries, you can watch the session again. Yes? How many have seen? Yes, in your school labs, right? Yeah, that has those yeast also, some glucose powder also. They'll have so many chemicals. And of course, the person who's working in the lab will take each of th this, each of these in an equal quantity, in a good quantity and will mix it up and we have the nutrient medium. And on, on, on to that, we will add the plants part. Once these plant part will get the nutrient, see everyone what we, what we call it as, callus. Okay, can you tell me what we were calling it before? You have seen a lab, you have seen in the bio lab, very good, yes. Ria, welcome to the class, welcome, yes, Sanskriti. Sohana, hi. Animal species also, yes, we have that, yes, epic girl, bye-bye. Sanu, okay, Ria is there. Sanskriti, Gaurav, yes, Gaurav. Laksh, thank you so much. Bhagyardha. Shraddha, yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Very good. Very good. All of you are giving the good answers. Awesome. Explant. Very good. Arpita, you are asking what is a nutrient medium? So, nutrient medium is the medium which of course has the, all the nutrient that is required for the plants to grow. We can make it in the lab. Okay, Gaurav. Bye-bye. Have good dinner. Yes. Clear? So, we have the explant. Explant. When we add on to the nutrient medium, it will grow and we will have the callus. Remember the two names, everyone. We have the explant, explant, cut plant, right? And then we have a callus, a group of cells that have grown into this bunch. And we call it as the, we call it as the callus, right? Cool. Now this callus holds amazing, amazing possibilities and amazing powers. Yes. Okay. Now just imagine, for example, if we have this bunch of callus 
And if I take the small, small pieces of the scales and put in the different test tube, what will happen? Can you tell me what will happen? Do this each part of callus will give one plant each or only one part of a plant? Happy birthday, Purnima. Where, from where are you? I'm from Rajasthan. Yes, come on everyone. Grow into a new plant. Very good, very good, yes. So these callus, right, if you put into the beaker or a test tubes in a lab condition where everything is completely clean and hygienic, there are no germs and a very controlled environment we have, yes, right, we will transfer it into these meat, uh, beakers and you know what we'll see? We will see that we will see a new plant growing, plantlet growing. And of course, the blue color that you are asking over here is nothing but the nutrient medium. It will have all the important nutrient, important hormones to, for plants to grow. Okay, okay Krishnan, all the best for that. Very good, right? Everyone clear? So we have the new plants. So just imagine, right? So just imagine how a plant, right? Or in a, how in a lab condition we can actually grow plants like this. Now just imagine we are living, let's say, from here 30 years ahead, right? And I'm sure in the movies also, I'm sure you must have seen. There is, there is no food. Maybe we can say that, you know, the soil is not that much fertile. And now, all of us are actually kind of dependent on the tissue culture for the food, right? We're dependent on that and we want the scientists to do something amazing thing. And they did. And now, we are producing the food that we are eating through the tissue culture. Now it's a very, it's there in a very controlled environment. We can definitely try it out and we can produce n number of copies. We can have more yield of it. Yes? Clear? Very good. Are we clear with this? Interesting, right? I know. It could be the future, but we just have to make sure that, you know, we are kind of well equipped with the things. Okay. So once we have these plants, right, let's see what we'll be doing with these. Okay, what do you think will be happening in this? Can we keep this plant, can we keep this plant in the beaker only? Or we should do something extra with this? Right? Come on everyone, we just have few minutes, then we have another class. Yes, yes, what we should do? We'll be removing this or we'll be keeping in the beaker only? Yes, we'll be keeping in the soil. Very good. So what we'll do, we'll take them into again a controlled environment nursery, right? Where of course we'll be keeping them in the soil in a flower pot, in a pot basically. And we will provide them with a good amount of, you know, man manure. We'll add the water also. They'll not get the direct sunlight, right? And slowly, slowly what we are doing, we're trying to make these plants a little more accustomed to the natural conditions. Right? We'll do the transplantation. Here move karke, pe we'll do. Yes. But we'll not be doing directly. But slowly, slowly we will be giving the plants a time to adjust into the natural condition. Giving them a chance to adapt. And then of course we will sell them in the market where the farmers can actually put them in the soil and can grow further. Clear? Clear everyone? Yes, quick thumbs up everyone. Yes, it's a very easy thing. Ma'am, the plant will continue contain any chemicals because it is artificially harmed. So, Shraddha, the chemicals, of course, which are there, right, we added, will not have those harmful chemicals because the chemicals that we are adding are very natural one. Basically, we are providing them the food to grow. Okay? Yes, absolutely awesome everyone. Right, so can we quickly recall the things we did? Come on everyone, let's quickly recall. First, we will cut the plant, we call them as explant. We will put them in the sterilization medium. We, once they are clean, clear, we will add into the nutrient medium. Right, in the nutrient medium we will add all the important nutrient and we will have the growth of the callus. The callus will grow. We will again cut the callus into the small pieces and we'll put in the beaker. Beakers, right, of course, we'll have a new plant. And finally, we'll transfer outside in the natural condition. 
and slowly slowly the plants will grow clear easy peasy see it's very easy right this thing 10th class student will be learning in class 10th but you are learning now see how advanced all of us are right it's a great opportunity for you to learn this now understand this and the same thing you will be learning in class 10th so we are ahead of the future yes and now that you know about this you can actually tell your parents about it tell your friends about it and you can read more about it clear yes yes so stock and psyche are the two parts that we have in the grafting yes very easy right it was easy awesome okay last thing for all for all of us what is the importance of tissue culture before we do anything right in science we always look for the importance for this so what is the important thing in tissue culture plant lips obtain very easily in a very short time we don't have to wait long time right we can actually get the yield very quickly then of course we can prevent the plants from getting disease we can actually make disease fighting plants right we can actually grow throughout the seeds throughout the year we don't have to wait for the season for the water can grown in a small batch in a petri dish also then of course we have that new variety of the plants can be produced and we can actually conserve the endangered plant species when we are doing the tissue culture right everyone do take a screenshot of this quickly take a screenshot of this very good yes so it has so much of advantage right so if you are a future scientist who are sitting here in the class with us right remember this tissue culture has so many opportunities right it's a very interesting field of science and as you know the population is growing right not just of our country but throughout the world we will be reaching 8 billion very soon and on our planet so we need food so if any one of you who want to be a scientist in the future who want to do good for the people provide them the food you know that this field is for you you can read more about it there are different colleges that are actually offer graduation post graduation degree and you can do more much into it so this is the first step for from our side to make sure that you are aware about tissue culture right and now you can go ahead yes very good everyone so i'll end the session now because ashwara ma'am has have a session in 2 minutes so please take a moment and subscribe to our channel and if you haven't joined the telegram group please do go and click on the link which is in the description below and join our community i will be sharing the pdf with you so please make sure you are joining the group yes yes i can see you want to become a heart surgeon very good yes and as we say we have got you covered and don't forget to hit the like button for the video share with your friends and subscribe to the channel and if you have any more doubts everyone please do write in the comment section below we will answer your doubts i will answer your doubt right yes ma'am can we place a plant in the soil but make soil fertile npk npk definitely we add it it's a it's a chemically for it's a fertilizer right it does add the uh, good nutrient to the plants but more use of it will be definitely causing the harm very good everyone Thank you so much, Shabri. Can you write it out quickly? Yes. Or you can write a doubt in the comment section below. I'll be taking from there. Now I have to leave as ma'am have a session. See you, everyone. Right and lots of love to each one of you. Please do take care of yourself and keep on learning with Byju's. Bye bye. Good night, everyone.